the Schmo with the pro, with the former UFC light heavyweight champion, the movie star, the man, the myth, the legend, Quentin Rampage Jackson in the flesh, Dallas, Texas. How we doing? We doing good. How you doing? The Schmo can't complain. It's nice and hot and humid. We got a big fight. Tonight, Jake Paul, Nate Diaz, life is good. Life is good. I'm going for Nate. Who you going for? The Schmo can't root for anybody. We're Switzerland. We're hoping for a great fight. Is that is that right? You you, you got you got to say neutral. Neutral. Oh, okay. I'm going for Nate. Of course you are. He's the one who hooked up with your seats tonight. You better be cheering for Nate. <laughs> no, that's not the only reason. He's a he's a he's an MMA legend. Of course he is. Yeah. He deserves the big payday fighting Jake Paul. Yeah, that's a big payday. He deserves it. Yeah, so do you, man. You're looking schvelt. You're looking like you're in shape. You're training. The schmo sees you all over Instagram lifting those heavy weights. You got to come back in store or what? Well, that's not why I was training. I was training because I got tired of being fat. I got I got fat shamed a lot on social media, and I'm here to say bring back fat shaming. Thank you, everybody who talked shit, called me fat blob, and, and everything, said I was growing titties. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That motivated me to whip my ass back in shape, and I teamed up with one of my friends, um, Sean Five O Reds. And that guy, he, he said, look, here, if you're going to work out with me, you got to do it right. So he put me on a strict diet, uh, fasting, and he got me lifting weights. You know, um, I never really was a weightlifter. Now he got me lifting weights. Then I do cardio. And I hate this guy. I hate Sean. Sean said, now, nah, I hate you because you kick my ass every day. He makes me train. He tried to make me train seven days a week. No rest days? I, 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 have, to, I have to hide from him on Sundays. Wow, the schmo can only imagine what a Rampage Jackson lifting weights would have done during your heyday in your prime. Yeah, you know what, my, my coach back in the day, uh, uh, Colin Oyama, he told me that I probably shouldn't lift weights because I, I was already having a hard time making 205. And um, when I lift weights, I gain muscle fast. Look at that, that's all natural, baby. All natty. What you gonna do when the biggest pythons in MMA run right on you, baby? Oh, yeah. Little Macho Man Randy Savage, the cream rises to the top. <laughs> yeah, that was it was mixed with Hulk Hogan, but yeah, I, I like to mix them two together, brother. There it is. Talk to the schmo for a second. Actually, the last time we were in Dallas, he had that face off with Shannon the Cannon Briggs. That was there. Triad Combat. Yes, that's oh, right. Over in the baseball stadium where the Rangers play. That's why that strip club I went to last night looked familiar. I've been here before. Yeah. Uh, We've been to the Hooters together. We did, didn't it? Damn, we need to go back to that Hooters. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, Shannon, we faced off here. He, you know what? He sent me a contract. He's trying to get that boxing match going. And uh, I, I sent it to my attorney. He was like, look, we got to change a few things. As soon as they change a few things, um, I'm going to sign on a dollar line. And then um, UFL, uh, Harrison Rogers wanted me to fight Titty. I mean, um, Dara Schoenauer from Tough. Some old rivals. Some old rivals. I'm doing grudge matches. This is what I'm doing for the rest of my little career before I uh, officially retire. I'm just doing grudge matches. So anybody else out there, and I owe you an ass whooping, don't be surprised if I have somebody come knock on your door looking for you. The last time the Schmo interviewed you was back in Phoenix, Arizona. It was Gronk's pool party. It was the Super Bowl. And then we're talking about John Jones, who is about to face Cyril Gaon for the vacant heavyweight championship belt. He won it. Domination, and now he's got Stipe Miocic, Madison Square Garden, the greatest heavyweight in UFC history against the greatest fighter in mixed martial arts history. How do you see that one playing out? Well, you know what I'm saying? I, I fought John Jones. I think he's the best fighter on the planet. Um, I think he could beat anybody if his mind is you know, in the right place, if he's he got his you know fight game on and uh, his fight plan is on point. But I just feel like John Jones... Um, He's stepping in with the big boys. Anything can happen, man. Steve A land, land one good punch. You know, he can go night night. It can happen, but Jones, he might try to wrestle fuck everybody. You think Steve A retires, win or lose? I mean, what else do you have to prove in the UFC heavyweight division? If he wins, he's north of 40. What else is out there for Steve A? I don't know what's out there for Steve A. You know, does he do anything else outside of fighting? He's a firefighter. Oh, yeah. He probably go back to putting out fires. And we win or lose. And being a father, too, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's the best job on the planet, being a father. You got any kids yet? Not yet. The schmo can't even handle himself on good days. <laughs> I feel you, man. They're, they're a handful, I tell you.
They are. They are. What do you make of Mike Tyson, the great Mike Tyson, training Francis Ngannou for his big boxing match against Tyson Fury that's going down in Saudi Arabia in October? I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Uh, Francis Ngannou is living the life, bro. Man, he's fighting. He's fighting Tyson and getting trained by Mike Tyson. He's living the life. I'm so jealous of Francis Ngannou right now. Yeah, and he's also a movie star like you. I mean, he's in the Fast and the Furious. What? Yeah, he is. He's in the Fast and the Furious. That's right. Francis, I'm so I'm so jealous of you, bro. Keep killing it, man. I'm a big fan of yours. But damn, I'm jealous. I saw you training with Mike Tyson on your Instagram, bro. I was jealous, bro. You giving him a chance for the MMA community. Yeah, I'm with him. You know, I'm gonna go to that fight too. I'm supporting the MMA fighters, and and uh, I think Francis has a, a a puncher's chance. But come on, um, Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight boxer um, living right now. And someone that the schmo knows that you've been up and close with is Platinum Mike Perry. He's been very successful in bare knuckle. He just beat a Luke Rockle, the guy. It's undefeated in bare knuckle right now, ever since he fought in the triad combat. What do you make of Platinum Mike Perry? He's a street brawler. Hey, Mike Perry ain't no joke, man. He's tough as nails. I'm telling you, when when he, we was doing the triad thing, man, he pulled it together. It was because of him that we actually won the whole event. So, you know, he, he showed up and showed out, man. I got nothing but love for Platinum. So how are we celebrating tonight in Dallas, Texas? Man, you know I'm going to get litty like a titty. Oh, you want to know the plans? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> hey, you know, I got a bunch of people with me. I tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to go back to the strip club tonight because I spent way too much money in that strip club. I think I I, I paid some child supports. I put I put a couple of um, single moms back in colleges. Not going back to the strip club, but maybe I maybe I come come here and have a few drinks because they make a good old fashioned here. I like old fashions. That's right. He loves the little orange peel. And by the way, thank you for stimulating the economy of Dallas one strip club at a time. Well, you know, I had to do my part. We all we all got to do our part, guys. You know what I'm saying? Keep the economy going. You know what I'm saying? Keep the strippers working. Because, you know, even during the pandemic, the strip clubs was open. You know, that's essential. You got to keep them in, in work. Okay, guys? There it is. Can we get a final message for all the Rampage Jackson fans out there worldwide? Hey, all the Rampage Jackson fans. Thank y'all for rocking with me all these years. I'm still trying to entertain y'all. I got movies, podcasts. I'm working on a, a late night show, and I'm trying to fight Titties and Shannon Briggs. So I want to keep entertaining y'all. Much love to all y'all. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Dallas, Texas. We're out.